charming. Now, I don't know if you are here on accident or if in the off chance that you stumbled upon here on purpose, then thank you. Thank you very much. And if you're here on accident, thank you as well. I am so <laughs> excited for the weirdness that you have no idea that you're about to experience. So there's that. But anyways, I just wanted to give a little bit of a backstory on you know, not only myself, but kind of give a, I don't know if disclaimer is the right word, but a disclaimer of what you can expect from this channel. I am creating Creepy Yet Charming as kind of a, just another fun outlet that I know we all need right now with all the craziness that's going on in the world. And I just, you know, it's going to be a fun time, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to tell you right now, I don't know what I'm doing. But this just seemed as good of a time as any to just take that plunge and do it. You know what I mean? It's just, there's so much weird, crazy stuff going on out there right now. And I just feel that people need a good escape. And I am happy to offer that. I'm not trying to make that sound like I'm here to save the day. I'm just saying I'm happy to... I don't know, put my weirdness to good and offer people another outlet of, you know, a way that they don't have to think about the realities of, you know, these weird times we're living in. So, without further ado, my name is Jessie and welcome to Creepy Yet Charming. We are going to be a channel that focuses very heavily on Halloween, obviously Halloween guys, and, you know, just spooky things, the darker side of life, um, you know, horror and ghost stories, ghost adventures. I mean, it's going to be all the things, guys. It's going to be all the fun Halloween vibes. And I just can't wait to share this with you guys. We are here at October 26th. Like, what? I don't even understand how that happened, you guys. I literally... I started decorating my apartment literally like two weeks into September, not even two weeks into September, and I just finished this week. Like this week. It's insane. It's insane. And it's just like this this month has been going by so fast and I just wanted to slow down because this is my favorite time of the year, absolutely. And I just, I mean, I'm, I live Halloween 365 days a year, guys. I mean, don't let me fool you. I mean, I mean, I have my little Haddonfield hat and I am indeed wearing a skeleton necklace with a skeleton shirt because I like skeletons. <laughs> but Halloween truly is life for me. And I, I just, it always makes me so sad when the month of October is ending, but it'll be okay, guys. I mean, it'll be okay. I literally live and breathe this holiday, so it's every day is Halloween for me. And I'm hoping that if you stick around, um, even if Halloween is not your favorite holiday, I'm hoping I can at least help you, you know, get a new appreciation for it. Because it is. It's a fun time, guys. And I, I just know that this channel will be a fun time for everybody of all walks and sizes and different... I don't know backgrounds. I don't know you guys. It's going to be weird. It's going to be weird. I promise. But I also wanted before I get too off topic because I tend I tend to do that. It's a condition, guys. <laughs> I absolutely have ADD or AD ADHD. I don't know which one it is, but it's the it's the one where you just can't you have the attention span of a squirrel, basically. And so just know I'm going to be like this probably every video. So there's that. <laughs> but before I get too off topic, I did want to give a shout out to somebody really quick. So I've actually been planning on doing this channel for quite some time now. And I've been really hesitant about doing it just because it's always scary starting something new. And I just didn't really know how to go about it. And this person has been a huge support in all of my endeavors. You know, all of my um, 
you know, during my, my social media endeavors. And she has just been absolutely wonderful. She is a member of a Halloween group that I run, which I'll get into the, I'll, I'll talk about the group in another video, but she's actually been a member of, of my Halloween group. Um, she was one of the, she was one of the OGs guys, like seriously, she, I, I'm pretty sure she's been there from the get go. And she's just been a huge support. She's, she's been there to see all of my stumbles and, and fails and, you know, and successes with the group as well. And she's just been, she's been supportive through all of it. And she actually inspired the name of this channel. And I, I, you know, I told her <laughs> the day that it happened that I was absolutely going to give her a shout out because it just means the world. I, I don't think I'd be making the channel yet if it wasn't for, you know, her giving me the inspiration there. So Adrian, Adrian Sewell, thank you. Thank you so much. You, you're just wonderful. Thank you for being a huge support. And I hope that you'll enjoy this channel. And you know, it, the, you were so sweet. You know, you always say the kindest things um, on a lot of my Halloween house tours and things that I posted to the group. So I really appreciate you. And thank you so much for doing your part to keep the Halloween spirit going in our little group. It means the world. And um, yeah, I hope that you enjoy um, all the content that I'm about to be sending your way. So anyways, there's that. <laughs> I have a fun little video planned for you guys today. We're just going to do a house tour. Um, I do these for my Halloween group periodically, but, but the house is completely done and you know, I've never made it for YouTube. So I'm excited to share it with you guys and, uh, it won't be much, you know, I, and I say, call it a house. I live in an apartment guys. Let's get that straight. I live in an apartment, <laughs> um, but that did not stop me from going pumpkins to the walls and just decorating my little heart out. I'm not even kidding. Uh, and I'm really excited for you guys to see it. So what we'll do is I'll give the tour. We are approaching nighttime really fast. So, you know, I'm gonna actually just go and turn on some lights and then I'm gonna take a video of everything and it's gonna be a fun time. All right, guys, I'll see you in a minute. So I'm back. And I have turned on all the lights. So we are ready to get this show on the road. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna take you around the house and kind of explain a few items. And then at the very end of the video, you'll get to see everything with all the lights off. All right, let's do it. So first we have this lovely Nosferatu. This is a piece by Distortions Unlimited. And if you're familiar with that company, then you know that they do not play around when it comes to Halloween. They are, they are some OGs, you guys, I'm serious. I have followed that company since I was literally a preteen and I have been obsessed ever since. And I was so happy to get him because he is a amazing, amazing piece. And then up here we have a few sentimental items. The candelabra that you see there, I've had, I got that at Spirit Halloween. I've had that for 15 years, <laughs> probably. And then the little witch that you see there is a gift from my mama. So she's very sentimental. We have another little witch silhouette on a broom. Um, and that's a lantern that was gifted to me by a very dear friend. And then two pieces from At Home, which if you shop at home, you know that they are really great about getting their Halloween stuff out super early, which I love. And we have some more spooky goodness down here. This piece that you see in the center was gifted to me. It actually has another tree that goes in the back, but it definitely fell behind the stove. And I tried to do some fancy maneuvering with a duster a Swiffer duster and tried to get it out from under the stove but then I got paranoid that I was gonna like break a like wire or a I don't know some like a piece of tubing or something down there and cause a gas leak or something so I <laughs> never got the tree guys never got the tree and then going right over here we have 
I mean, you can't have Halloween without a good fall candle. Some pumpkin goodness going on over here. This is my Halloween advent calendar. I'm so sad, guys. We have five days. It makes me so sad. And then spiders, because who doesn't need, a, you know, spiders going around their pantry? <laughs> I think everybody should have a set of spider lights in their life. <laughs> and then right over here, we have my fiber optic skull centerpiece. The skull was actually gifted to me by my daddy. And then the, you know, the centerpiece arrangement that you see all around it, um, I actually made. And I made that this year. And I really liked how it turned out. I think I'm gonna, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna do it every year, you guys. And it's on a really pretty uh, spider web tablecloth. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> and then right, panning, panning, panning. <laughs> we have my chandelier. You know, because you've got to have just classic. Dollar Tree spider web. I'm very proud of how that turned out. <laughs> and then this piece right here, you guys, is very special. This is my Dracula. And he, I actually got to make him, uh, he was a project that I completed with my papa. My papa actually helped me build this. And that is real driftwood that we built the coffin out of. And... It was, let me tell you guys, it was an experience. It was really, really fun. Like probably one of the funnest things, and I'm so sorry, I'm horrible at filming, but probably one of the funnest things I've ever filmed or ever built. And I'm not gonna lie, I mean, my papa did like 97% of the work. <laughs> I definitely helped though. I did. I got to take some fun pictures in the coffin. <laughs> But I did help. I did help, I promise. And I just love him. I love him so much. He's one of my favorite pieces. We made him a few years ago, and he, honestly, guys, I'd be lying if I said I didn't leave him out all year. <laughs> but, Papa, if you're watching, you know how special this was to me, so thank you. Thank you so much. I love my Dracula man. And then up here we just have some creepy claws. Which, you can't have Halloween without Creepy Claws. And I just got those at Joe. Oh, my gosh, you guys. My Headless Horseman scared me so bad. <laughs> so that's my Headless Horseman, you guys. <laughs> oh, I can't believe he scared me like that. Anyways. <laughs> I had forgotten that I had plugged him in. I had completely forgot that I plugged him in. And you guys, he's so loud. <laughs> that actually scared me. That legitly scared me. <laughs> but anyways, isn't he just, isn't he just a dream? <laughs> I got him at Home Depot, and he's probably one of my favorite pieces that I own. He's amazing, guys. <laughs> and then we just have more creepy claws. We have babies. This is Hugsley and Wednesday Adams. <laughs> Told you guys, Halloween is life. <laughs> and then right here we have a really beautiful pumpkin centerpiece that I picked up at Home Goods. Home Goods was killing it this year, you guys. They did a really good job. And then we have my Mr. Skeleton Man. The Mr. Skeleton. Oh, what do you call that? The Mr. Skeleton carriage. 
and he is another item that I picked up at Home Depot. It's really cool. Oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> he is so cool, guys, though. He has all the Halloween vibes. Love him. And then here we have a really pretty, you can't see it in this lighting, but we have a really pretty uh, spiderweb backdrop there. You cannot see it at all, though. And then over here, we have the mantle. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I, something about a Halloween mantle that just, I don't even know. It just, it just does it for me. It is the most amazing spooky vibe you could ever get and I love how it turned out um, all of these items here are actually new they're all except for mr. pumpkin man there but I'll get that get to him in a little bit but this is definitely my favorite part of the house for sure for sure and then the little centerpiece that you see there I picked up at Michael's all the designer pumpkins I picked up at Michael's the wreath I picked up at Target, actually. One of my better finds from Target. And then the chandel I just called that a chandelier, you guys. <laughs> the candle abra <laughs> I picked up at Michael's. And then Mr. Pumpkin Man, he is from a... He is actually from an old... Oh my goodness, you guys. The Headless Horseman... He deserves an award. He deserves an award. The P Mr. Pumpkin Man is actually a gift from my old charge nurse back in my medical days. And he's actually a designer piece by a folk art artist by the name of Joe Spencer. And I am absolutely obsessed. If you have not heard of Joe Spencer, you can find some of his work on Christmas Traditions and a few other um, little like mom and pop sites and he is wonderful up here you see my please park your broom at the door signage there oh my goodness <laughs> and then down here we have some fun items just some more halloween goodness <laughs> my judith myers headstone and if you know what that reference is then we could be best friends. If you know what that headstone is from, we can be absolute bestest of friends. And then up here we have some more sentimental items. I'm sorry if this is taking a long time, guys. There's just a lot. That skeleton man that you see there is a really special piece. He was a craft that I made with my mama. And we made him a few, actually a long time ago. And it was so funny because we were like, we failed at so many other attempts trying to melt the candle over these skeletons and we ruined like probably six other skeletons and this was the this was the final this was the final piece and I think he turned out amazing some more signage from at home my witchy black cat snow globe and then that book there I picked up from at home and then that fiber optic witch there is actually from my daddy. Another gift from my daddy. And it's very special. Very, very special. And then down here we have a gentleman who is dying <laughs> to meet you. <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up. This is um, a piece that I picked up at a little store called Got a Costume. They are a little mom and shop uh, Halloween store. I don't even know if they're a thing anymore, you guys. I honestly don't. But he is amazing. And then over here we have my Halloween Massacre sign, <laughs> which I'm obsessed with because I am a huge fan of the movie Halloween, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> And then we have some more lights. Both the bat lights that you see here and the skulls are from my childhood. They were gifted to me by my daddy. But literally, I've had these my whole life. And then the 
um, tin sign you see up here I picked up at Michael's this year. And it's so funny because two really good friends that I have, um, that I'm just so thankful to have in my life, they, they are just as obsessed about Halloween as I am. They actually, we found out that we all have the same sign. <laughs> and my friend the other night, she was like, are we best friends or something? And I'm like, we must be. <laughs> I love that. I love that sign. And then we have Rufus. Rufus I picked up at Michael's. And he was horribly overpriced. I'm not going to lie, guys. But I don't care. I don't, I don't regret it at all. And then this is the cat's area. And yes, they have their own area with their own Halloween lights. And then we are to the final part of the house, guys. This is my fortune teller themed craft room. And I, I'm just going to tell you, I am so beyond happy with how it turned out. <laughs> so definitely let me know what you guys think. This was a theme I've been wanting to do for quite some time. So the fortune teller I picked up at Brandon Rhodes, and then the skull lights were actually gifted to me from a really dear friend. And then everything else on this table, except for the skulls, um, are from Spirit Halloween this year. I was able to pick up some really cool tarot cards. They're amazing. They're all Halloween themed. And then the skulls back there are indeed real skulls. <laughs> they were gifted to me. I honestly don't know where they got those. I'm not going to question it. <laughs> and then we got a fun fortune teller sign up there. Uh, sorry about the glare. You can't read it. But it says like Madame, Al Madame Alexander's fortune telling card game. And then a fun light up pentagram. Because who doesn't need a pretty light up pentagram in their lives? And then all of her potions down there. So I'm just going to level with you guys. I like to tell a story with my decorating. And in here, this is actually the whole theme behind this. This is actually a witch who has disguised herself as a fortune teller. And when you receive a fortune from her, she actually curses you. And that was the whole theme I was going for. So anyways, that is the entire house. I hope you guys enjoyed this, this tour and this video. If you did enjoy this, please, please, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and um, definitely like this video. I will be uploading more content um, every Monday. So if this, this suits your fancy, definitely come back and see us because I got a lot of fun things coming your way, guys. All right, you guys, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm going to get going because it's getting crazy here. And you guys have a happy Halloween.